everyone. Uh, my name is Haley Getz. I am a proud queer psychonaut. Uh, we exist too. It is not just Terrence McKenna. Uh, anyways, I am here with Decriminalized Nature New York City, and I am holding in my hand our resolution. Uh, we are trying to pass this resolu resolution or get support from city council members. Uh, there is an election coming up. You, all of you, uh, can help in this fight. Reach out to your council member, find your council member, and ask them to support our resolution. We have been working on this for months and months now, and this really needs to happen. So anyways, Decrim Nature New York City, so we are a nationwide educational campaign. We're working to decriminalize entheogens, which includes psilocybin mushrooms, iboga, ayahuasca, and cacti containing mescaline. So, these plant medicines have been utilized for hundreds of years for religious and spiritual purposes throughout the world, and they're being criminalized. People's religious and spiritual freedoms are being criminalized. We have seen that these plant medicines have provided significant assistance in treating depression, anxiety, PTSD, end-of-life anxiety, and treatment-resistant addictions. Yes! An entire class of alternative modalities of healing are currently being criminalized. Uh, we see that world-renowned institutions, including Johns Hopkins University and our very own New York University, have full-on departments dedicated to researching and studying the benefits of psychedelics, and yet, psychedelics and plant medicines still criminalized. Uh, so we have seen that uh, you know these plant medicines can heal and they need to be decriminalized. They need to be decriminalized now. It is our inalien inalienable right to develop and cultivate our relationship with nature. Once again, find your council member, reach out to their council member. We need support to pass this resolution. Finally, I just want to say that Decriminalized Nature is in solidarity with this long, long-standing fight to legalize marijuana. We stand behind the expungement of criminal records, and as we know, there exists a huge disparity of criminalizing and incarcerating individuals of color for mar marijuana-related offenses. We are also fighting for the expungement of criminal records for individuals who are incarcerated for possessing, cultivating, and selling plant medicines. And once again, individuals who are utilizing these plant medicines to help with addiction, to help with PTSD, to help with uh, mental health. We are advocating and uh, we need to decriminalize this now. Uh, so you know, New York, we are a very progressive city, very progressive state. We are entering a completely new era of human health and well-being, even, you know, these Things have been around for hundreds of years, but in terms of widespread uh, support, we are entering a new era. Uh, so we've got to continue fighting this war on drugs. It is long from over. we got to continue the fight. Drug users are people too. Thank you.